Welcome to Eric Blackman Music. Hi, and welcome to my tutorial. Just got a new bass. What to do next? Before we start, let's be clear about something. You can play this instrument any way that you like. So feel free to change anything that I show you to suit your needs. In this video, I'm simply going to show you some of the things that have worked for me in the past. The first thing we'll do is to learn how to actually play notes. Next, we'll learn how to find those notes on the bass. After we've done that, we'll learn some easy bass lines from popular songs. So let's get started. First, we'll talk about the right hand. I'm going to place my thumb on the pickup of the bass. If it's possible for you to do with your instrument, rest your thumb on the pickup like that. We're going to use the index finger and middle finger to play notes. Our strings are the E string, the A string, the D string, and G string. These four strings are tuned to those notes. E, A, D, G. We need to be sure that we know which note is played by which string. E, A, D, and G. Now we're going to rest our thumb here and we're going to pick the E string with our index finger like this. Now what I'm doing is really just closing my fingers together like that. So we're going together like that and making a sound. Gently we want to do this. When we play the A string, we can use either the index finger or middle finger, but we want to play the note like this. When I play the note, I'm going to land on the E string. Now this serves two purposes. We get the note played, and it automatically mutes the low E string. Right? And if we play it with the middle finger, if we decide to go to the D string, we'll do the same thing. We'll play the string and land on the A string. The same thing with the G string. Like that. So. If we want to stop the strings from playing, we're going to touch them with the left hand, like that. Just touch the strings. Don't press the string down because you'll make a sound, like that. Okay? You want to play the string and then touch it to mute it or stop it. Now we'll go to the left hand. In order to play a note, I'm going to press down on the fret that I want. I want to press down near the fret like this and then pick my note like that. Now I want to get close to that fret because when I'm close to that fret I don't have to press down very hard to get a note. Press gently, press it to the fret and then pick the note like that. And that'll work with every string. Now when we are picking notes with the right hand, we want to learn to do this. I call that letting your fingers do the walking. So you're doing this. So we're going to place our thumb here, go to the string that we want, like the A string, index finger, middle finger, index finger, middle finger landing on the string above it. That's the technique that we want to develop. Yeah. 
practice that as much as you can. If you go to the low E string, and you're simply doing this, going to that thumb. A string, D string, and G string. Muting each time with the left hand. Now to get the left hand fingers working, we want to do this exercise, which is an open note, play it. First finger, first fret, second finger, second fret, third finger, third fret, and fourth finger, fourth fret. We want to learn to do that with every string. Open, one, two, three, four. The next string, open, one, two, three, four. The next string, open, one, two, three, four. Now notice I'm alternating these two fingers when I play this. So I'm going to start with my index finger, open, one, two, three, four. Eventually, you want to be able to do this. Now when you place your hand on the bass, try to keep your thumb down behind the neck of the bass to support your hand. Now, I've been playing a while, so I can do some unorthodox things with my thumb. I can come across and mute notes or play notes with that thumb. But when you're starting out, you want to keep your thumb down and so your fingers reach the fretboard very easily. Okay, so open, one, two, three, four, like that. Okay. Let's talk about finding notes. For this, we'll be using the fret markers. Now with this bass, we've got a fret marker at fret 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Notice they're odd numbers. And then up here, we've got fret 12, which is our octave. So if we have an E open, we're going to have a high E here. If we have an A open, we're going to have a high A here, and that works with every string. High D is right here, and high G is here. Okay, so E, A, D, G. E, A, D, G. The notes that we use in music are A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now those notes can be thought of as going around in a circle or like A, B, C, D, E, F, G. If we started with A, if we started with B, it would be B, C, D, E, F, G, A. If we started with C, it would be C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Those are our scales, okay? So we're going to start here with a G. We'll start here with the marker at fret three. That's a G note. We're going to go here and we get an A. And we have B. Okay, so now this marker here at the first fret is F. So we have F, G, A, B, and then at fret 8 we have C. Okay, now for any note that we have, if we know that note, like G here at fret 3, if we need to sharp that note, we go up one fret, G sharp. 
if we had A here, we go up a one fret and we have A sharp. So A, A sharp. If we go the other way, we have A and A flat. So we flat notes to the left and we sharp notes to the right. Okay? So if we're going to the right, we're going to start with G. G sharp. A. A sharp. And so on. Now we'll start with low E. F, first fret. G, third fret. A, fifth fret. B, seventh fret. And C would be at fret eight. Like that. Now, if we need notes going down the fretboard or from the top to the bottom string, and we think in fours, okay? Notes on the bass are played in fourths on a single fret. Okay, so what that means is if we have a G here, when we go to the next string, it's going to be four notes away from that original note. So G, A, B, C. Now this happens everywhere on the bass. So we've got C, D, E, F. Four notes away. If we go to A, we would have A, B, C, and D. D, E, F, G, G, A, B, C. That's how notes are arranged on the bass guitar. All right now, let's try to learn some easy bass lines that are in popular songs. The first easy bass line we'll learn will be Under Pressure by Queen. We'll go up to fret 12 and we'll take the two middle fingers, place one on the D string at fret 12, and place one on the A string at fret 12. And just hold them. Just hold them there. Then we'll go down here and play this. So that's So this note is D and this note is A. So it's D, 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 A. D, 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 A. And that's the main riff in that song. Now here's the bass line from a popular song by Chicago called 25 or 6 to 4. We'll start here at fret 5 and play. And this is on the E string. That's fret 3, fret 2, fret 1, and then open. So it's played this way. So we went to fret 5 on the E string, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 notes, fret 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 notes, fret 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 notes, and then fret 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then open 1, 2, 3, 4, so here we go. So we're going to go to fret 5 and play 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Fret three, one, two, three, four, five. Fret two, one, two, three, four, five. Fret one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we're playing this. And we'll 
we'll just repeat that. Next is a popular song by the White Stripes, Seven Nation Army. Now, Seven Nation Army is not played on a bass. It's played on a guitar with a pedal. But since we're playing bass, I'm going to show you how to play it on a bass guitar. For Seven Nation Army, we'll start at fret 7 on the A string, play it twice. Go to fret 5 on the D string back to fret 7 on the A string, fret 5, fret 3, and fret 2. So that's 7, 7, 5, 7, 5, 3, 2. That's our bass line. All right, one more easy, cool bass line. This bass line is from a song called For Whom the Bell Tolls by Metallica. It's played this way. play that bass line by going to the open E string, fret 3 on the E string, fret 2, fret 1, open, 3, 2, so here we go again, open 3, 2, 1, open 3, 2, 1, Open three, two, one, open two, three, open A. So there are some ways that you can get started on the four string electric bass guitar. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.